The more challenge, the more strife, the bigger the dragon, the, the harder the resistance, the greater the reward, right? So when you're going through all of these resistance and all of this strife, the reward is even greater than it was any other time of the year because you stepped up to your power during the time it was the hardest time to do it. You see? So you get a bonus, just like any video game. I like using, my son's always playing video games. See, I'm watching, I'm kicked up watching it, thinking about metaphysics the whole time. And they talking, no, nah, no, nah, he's talking to the little one. No, see, that's, that's that right there. See, if you can beat that one right there, you get three extra lives. Because that, that's, that's a more powerful opponent, whatever the case may be. So now you get extra bonuses when you were able to beat that opponent. The same thing once we put this other beast in divine order. Once we put that harlot energy back in divine order, get her doing what she's supposed to do. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You sitting on the three times higher throne. Three times higher throne. Facts. Absolutely. Everything in life works like that. The harder it is, the more kudos you get. The more bragging rights you get. See, Webster dunking on Jordan or something like that. Imagine, they remember Webster? My little brother used to be mad at me. I used to call him Webster. That dude would go, wow. <laughs> Shout out to the big chief. Shout out to the big chief. Anyway, so... um. <laughs> Webster dunking on Jordan. Anyway, moving forward, people. This is the age of revelation. This is where alchemy is going to be very important. Information like this is very important. All religious, religion can't take you through this. Let me repeat that again. Religion and just belief it is not going to be enough. It's not enough. Because it's not holistic. You can't just believe, right, that, that something is good and, and pray over it. If I sit here and eat that, pray over this whole pouch of Sour Patch candies, if I say a huge prayer over it and all this stuff, and I eat it all at one time, I don't give a damn. I'm still going to get sick. If it's a bowl of poison ivy, I don't care how much you say Jesus over it, you will get sick. So apparently it's more than just faith. It's about knowledge. You got to know what you're eating. You got to know how to eat it. You got to know why you're eating it. You got to have knowledge, right? It's that you can't just have faith. And it's not just about hooting and hollering and praising Jesus. You have to live your life like a scientist and be wise. See, the master teacher says, be wise as serpents. I don't see anywhere in Revelation where it says those who holler and pray the most are going to make it. Never. Oh, you worship and caught the Holy Ghost 50 times in one year. You got to go to heaven. Absolutely not. You still going to hell for being a fool. Hell meaning getting reloaded into the matrix. And this time a more restrictive matrix. It's getting worse. It's getting to the point now you ain't never going to get out. And these being the way they setting it up now, it's going to be very difficult. Very difficult. Anyway, uh, health and fortification is going to be very important. Your physical health and your mental health. Religion ain't teaching about health. They don't teach you that go deep into health like that, especially not on this level. Yeah, right with the with the trace minerals and what we call alchemy and uh, all, all of the things with the with the uh, with the generators and all of this crystals. They don't deal with that. Everything just got to be look. <laughs> you just got to praise Jesus. You don't need all that, baby. Just praise Jesus, fool. You gonna go right where you belong. You believe that foolishness? People say you don't need all that. Just Jesus. Okay. You maybe in the old cycle all you need is Jesus. But I tell you, we dealing with a whole nother level now. You see, them tools ain't gonna work. Just like Dracula. What did Dracula say when the lady, Dracula said, ah, I come to suck your blood, ah, I'm about to bite her. She pulls out the crust. 
Dracula takes that thing and crumble crushes it in his hand. Get that foolishness out of here. You see, that don't work because you don't really believe it. And the fact of the matter is, deep, deep, deep down, Christians don't believe that crap. If they if they really believed in that, they could not support abortion. Right? They could. There's no way you could be a liberal and support abortion if you really believe in Jesus, the Bible, Christ, and all that. You couldn't kill a damn baby. How low? Like 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 Public Enemy said, how low can you go? <laughs> Ain't nothing lower than that. Killing a baby. Am I right or am I absolutely right? So you ain't Christian. If this was a Christian nation, we wouldn't have booty clapping. If this was really Christian, right? We wouldn't we wouldn't be in this situation. People acting a fool on both sides of the political scales. We wouldn't have this racism. Huh? We wouldn't have any of that. So don't talk to me about Christianity. You don't believe in Christianity really. You just want to fit in with your social group and have a good ah, motivational speech so you can feel vindicated for all the dirt you did all week so you can turn around and do it again. It's just like taking out the trash. I gotta do more dirt, but I can't have too much dirt on me. Shit, I need to go to Christ so I can get some of this relief, at least so I can feel good about myself. At least I went to church. And you turn right around and do the same thing. Am I right or absolutely right? I'm not talking about everybody, see? But every freaking compound in cyanide won't kill you either. But it's still poison, right? It's still poison. So we have to stay consistent too. Consistency, all of these things we go into and we're going to continue to go into at Hidden Power University. I want to have more of an inspirational aspect because I feel that you need that point, that part. So we're going to go and, and do more inspirational type stuff in the members area, as well as things to give you knowledge, because we need inspiration. We need to be uplifted, which is very important. Uh, now, you're going to be tested through your associations. You're going to be tested. One of the beasts that rise in Revelation is this huge bear like creature. Every beast represents different aspects of the mind and the spinal cord. A dragon represents the reptilian brain. The bear is, is talking about your mammalian brain or your uh, cerebellum, right? Your mammal brain, that part of you that wants to fit in, right? The monkey brain, the, the part of you that deals with, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, oxytocin, warm and fuzzy crap stuff stuff that you like you want to feel close and part of everything but unfortunately you want to feel close to a zombie that's the problem so that beast is rising up you got to slay that one too right there's a time to be cold there's a time for everything under the sun there's a time to say f everybody i'm all about the father I mean that sincerely. Can you say that? Because you will be tested by way of your attachments and your associations. So we're going to see who's who on the planet, who's really about this life, who's really about that ascension. That's why I tell you, oh, God damn, when the thugs wake up, it's all over. <laughs>